When an emergency strikes and local response capacities reach their limit, international assistance might be needed. As the humanitarian response starts, logisticians are deployed and they will all do their best to ensure their organization's cargo enters the country and is delivered to the affected population. However, this happens as a large amount of relief cargo congests entry points, piling up on the tarmac or on the docks, as customs is clogged by the amount of requests. As local truck drivers flee the affected area, leaving organisations to compete for the same assets and services, prices rise. The response risks to be ineffective and in all individual efforts vain, unless the professionals deployed to the crisis coordinate, exchange information and capitalise on each other's skills and knowledge. The logistics cluster is mandated to provide surge capacity for deploying staff to emergency responses. But finding the right person for the right job takes time. And how do we know who is available to go where? The logistics cluster is working on a solution. We are defining standards for staff to deploy as logistics responders. You should know exactly what you get when you call for the logistics cluster. We are offering logistics professionals a variety of training packages. You should know what to do and how to do it when you are deployed. We are bringing humanitarians together in classrooms and in exercises, building a network of logistics professionals who speak a common language. We are training skilled and dedicated staff across humanitarian organisations, enabling them to work seamlessly with the cluster. Finally, we are building a roster management system with an automated alert mechanism. No need to call people individually anymore. Just push the red button and staff will be alerted. Do you want to be part of the challenge? Be informed, get involved, be a trainee, be a trainer. The Logistics Cluster, for prepared responders are responders who will deliver.